Hi friends, it's Kathy. This is Jenny, again. We're here to make our first favorites video. We're gonna go right into it. The item I have is the Mario Badescu Skincare Glyc Glycolic Acid Toner. Uh, this is for like hyperpigmentation in your like face and um, I got this from Claire Marshall and I was like yes I need to use this and it's been working like my skin's not so freaking flaky and like it just like calms it down and you're supposed to use this like once in the morning and once at night after cleaning two times it's a little strong I gotta admit it's a little bit strong so you know just use it as much as you think you should but it's a really good product don't overdose it Oh, and you can get it at Ulta. And my beauty product is um, Rice Water Bright Cleansing Light Oil. And this is from the face shop. I got it in Keratin. And this has been amazing. Like, legit. Anyways, where was I? I got this from the face shop. It was around, I think, 13 $15. $15 but it's really worth it. It's like, um, you use it before your foam cleansing oil. And it's really great for your skin, just saying. Even if you have oily skin, I still recommend this because it cleans all your dead skins and pores. So my second item is this eyebrow pencil thing I got from Daiso. It has like the little twistable like eyebrow portion where you draw it in and then like a spoolie on the end. And I have tried plenty of eyebrow products and girls, so let me tell you. This is the way to go. <laughs> it works really good. It's really good for people with like really really dark hair and like fair complexion because it's it doesn't like overpower your brows, girl. Like yes, and it's only like a dollar fifty, I think. Yeah, dollar fifty and Daiso. Yeah. If you haven't checked out, check out our latest haul video on Daiso. We'll link it below. So my next favorite is I think it's Ohu Ohu. A huge, a huge. <laughs> um, it's a Hydra Formula Skin Recharging Mist, and um, it's really refreshing after you take a shower, or you're feeling like a little hot outside since it's really summer and it's getting hot, and you spray at least like three, three spray, and you'll feel good to go. <laughs> the smell, the smell good. <laughs> go. Okay, and my last product is this Maybelline New York Master Precise. Eyeliner by Eye Studio in the color black. Um, yeah, this is like my favorite eyeliner, and I've tried like all of their lines of eyeliner. I don't know if you can see this, but it has like a pretty long and sharp tip, and like it's very, it's very good for cat eyes. My next product is it's also from the face shop. It's Natural Sun, which is a sun cream, and I must say, in the summer, you have to use sunscreen because all those UV rays not gonna work okay so <laughs> hey what <laughs> you're so lame hey it's okay but anyways uh yes it's it's very light it's not thick as in like regular sunscreen from walmart or target so i recommend this and it's you know just spread it on evenly and don't put too much it's just like a little pea size amount you're good to go My, I guess, album of this month has been, even though it came out like two weeks ago, The Weeknd's new album, The Beauty Behind the Madness, literally, y'all, like, I want to buy it instead of pirate it. That's how much I like it. You want to go to the concert or something? It's like 150 bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. The concert's in December. If you're in Texas, it's in Houston. And it's December like 14th or 13th, so I might be there. Okay, holler at your girl. Um, but like my two favorite songs from the album is Shameless and Acquainted. So check those out. It's worth it. Well, my favorite music of last month was um, JB Justin Booby. News latest song, uh, What Do You Mean? I don't really like him, but for some reason I like this song. Only the song though of his. Justin but, Bieber's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Big fangirl right here, me. Mm. Like if you don't like Justin Bieber. No, go away. <laughs> go away if you don't like Justin Bieber. <sighs> okay, and um, as for my favorite movie, I'm pretty sure all y'all have heard of this, but straight out of Compton, um, it's a movie about NWA and how like Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, and Eazy-E pretty much came up and like their whole storyline and whatnot. 
and it is just like bomb ass movie. If you ever watched the one with Notorious and Tupac, I believe, like I think it was about both of them. It's kind of similar to that, but you know all about NWA, and it's a must watch. Really good movie, really motivational, great songs. So check it out. <laughs> Well, I don't really have a movie for this month, but I have a drama to recommend if you're like a K-pop fan girl out there. Uh, it's called Scholar Who Walks the Night. Basically, it's about um, an evil vampire and uh, ruling over the past lives of, what is it called? It's like back then, historical. It's a historical vampire type of movie. Is it the King's Queen? Uh, yeah, like, Imperial. Time Dynasty? Imperial Dynasty. Time, yeah. yeah. And basically, um, it wasn't the king who ruled the country, but it was the vampire who helped the king. But, um, yeah. I mean, you guys should search it up, because it's kind of difficult to explain since it's like a, it's like a 20 episode drama. So yeah. For one, since, you know, autumn is coming around the corner, super close, I finally found my perfect coffee candle and this makes me so excited. It's called Cafe de Vanille. Yeah, maker of WG. <laughs> yeah, but this thing, it smells amazing. It smells like a vanilla latte on a cool, breezy fall day and you just want to sniff it forever. It's like the pumpkin season during Starbucks. Mine's your powerful. Well, you did. It yeah, I've been having this on like every day. My favorite item is this crystal rock, which is very cool. I got it at TJ Maxx and it's a little bit pricey, but it's really worth it because my mom said it's really good um, if you put it on the study table of your area because it's really good luck for you. And who doesn't like crystal? It's very shiny, very bumpily though. I could kill someone with this, but I won't, guys. I won't. No. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, my second item is this marble journal thing from Urban Outfitters. It was kind of pricey, a little bit stupid of a buy, but I loved it too much to pass it up. Twelve ninety five. Well, it's from Urban, <laughs> yeah. so you know. I understand. We're a tiny journal. Whatever. Do you even use it? Oh, hello! I found my money. Oh my. Some my money <laughs> in there. Just saying. I actually thought I lost that money. It's like a hundred bucks. See, lucky journal. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> My last favorite item is this Buddha head. I also got this from TJ Maxx, guys. If you're looking for a good furniture items, she should go to TJ Maxx. Um, it's a, a lavender smelling, even though you can't see it now, but it have holes in the head. Huh? Well, it's supposed to be like you put it in your room, and it'll like suddenly the scent will like go around the room. Does it? In your dorm? Do you have it in your dorm? Yeah. Does it smell? I mean, my apartment room. Whatever. Your Anyways, uh, yeah, and I really like it. It's really marbly, and I love Buddha. Anything that's Buddha, I love Buddha. Oh, yeah. Okay, my favorite item is this watch right here. It's a Nixon 5130, I believe. It's like a men's watch, but you know, I gotta fit it to me. But this literally has been my favorite item, like my most favorite item in my closet for the past like year or so. Don't be like walking next to her because she can like knock you out. I will smack the shit out of your arm if you walk next to me. I do this to her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So my last favorite item is, it's not with me right now because it's a bit heavy, but um, she'll insert a video below. But it's this frame that she made for me, for my dorm. It's like a house <laughs> gift, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. It smells really good, very nature-y. And it only cost her... I think it was like... Seven books. But it's a great DIY. If you guys just look at it. Doesn't it look amazing? Like all these flowers. Yeah. Great gift. <laughs> it actually complements my room. If you guys will like and I'll do a room tour and she might do hers. Hey, I'll think about it. Okay, so first clothing item that I'm absolutely obsessed with for this month. I found it at Lulabee's, which is like our, I guess our local antique thrifty store in Deep Ellum. It's this denim jacket. Where is it from? Originally from? It's originally from a construction company called Gat. <laughs> which coincidence. Exactly. It was meant for me. So this thing like, okay, it was kind of pricey. How much was it? Yeah, it was like 23 bucks. But it's worth it. Like. But I mean, it's like super thick mm -hmm. and like... Great for layering and fall since it's coming up. Yeah, and it has pockets. And all that matters, yeah. it has pockets. Yeah. Cheese. 
so lucky me. My favorite item is this hat. Funny story is, I lost it at um, Budwalkers. <laughs> yeah, and I was like freaking out about it because I lost this hat because it's kind of pricey. <sighs> but it is Nike and it's very like, you know, if you have those one of them bad hair days, you can just put a hat on and it'll look amazing. That's why she always has it on. <laughs> hey, I have good hair days. Okay. It just gets sweaty and oily. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, my second item is these Air Force Ones, Nike Air Force Ones. I've been wanting them since I was younger, but mom was like, why, why do you need those? No. But I finally copped some for myself, and I wore the crap out of them. Yeah, it's not really white anymore. Yeah, hopefully they don't get like that weird yellowy tint thing. It's a little yeah. bit darker than my shoelaces already, but you know what? It's worth it, because these suckers are cute. And they go with like almost everything. Because it's white. My next items are these pair of dolphin shorts. I wore them for our San Antonio trip. If you haven't checked that vlog out, check it out now. Anyways, yeah, these are very comfy. It's great for the water. It's not, like, it's not made from cotton, right? What is it made of, like, I don't know. Nylon? Yeah, probably, but it's great for the water if you're, you know, shy. So anyways, yes, it's great. Even though it's black, it can get hot a bit, just saying, FYI. They're a good price, too. They're, like, six bucks. Oh, yeah, they were. For Forever 21? Yeah. Good choice. My last item, I know it's, like, another shoe, but... These booties from Topshop. Like my booty. Oh yes. I actually got them on uh, at a different place and for like 12 bucks. So I guess where it is? A little A little closet, guys. <laughs> but yeah, for 12 bucks and they're like pretty much like brand new. Like I think they still have the tags on them. So whoever sold this, thank you, because I love them. <laughs> they add to my witchcraftness of outfits. Yeah. My last item is I should do a magic trick. Um, <laughs> uh, this Adidas shirt. Yes, I got it. It was originally twenty six dollars, but I got it at Champs, I believe. And if you don't know that place, it's a basically a shoe store, sport, sporting goods. Yeah, and it's really cheap for items. And I only got this for twenty bucks, and it's really great. I wore it as a t-shirt dress since it's the summer and it's still hot, so I decided to wear this. Even though black is a hot color, but that's okay. It's all worth it. We always wear black. Yeah. And white. No and pants for days. That's Hashtag you. Hashtag no pants for days. That's you. I'm wearing pants for days. <laughs> well, you are wearing pants, but you know. It just never, I just, it just never looks like I have pants on this. Our first favorite video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on our next favorite video. So, yeah. Thank you.